Hailing from the ninja village of Iwagakure, Gabamaru is a cold-blooded killer who is popular for his ruthless professionalism. However, he has now been sentenced to death for some crime. While the executioners try their best to burn him alive or decapitate him, no method eventually works on Gabamaru who claims that he has no attachment to life and just wants to die. One ordinary day, an inspector visits him and asks Gabamaru about his early life. It turns out that the ninja never got to know his parents as they were killed by the village chief OSA when he was just a young boy. Following the death of his parents, Gabamaru was trained as an assassin and became the best ninja in Iwagakure as he grew up. He eventually married the daughter of the chief but claimed that he did not like her at all as she was not very intelligent. When Gabamaru was fed up with her and just told this to OSA, he was asked to complete one last mission. This turned out to be a huge mistake as he was then betrayed by his own comrades and captured. After all execution methods fail to kill Gabamaru, he is taken to a room where the inspector who has been questioning him in the last few days is waiting for his arrival. He is then informed that she is actually a well-known executioner named Yamada Asiman Sajri the Decapitator, who is entrusted with the responsibility of taking his life. Asiman quickly draws her sword and tries to decapitate her target. However, Gabamaru is quick to evade the strike. A seaman inquires why Gabamaru saved himself which is a legitimate query considering the fact that the shinobi has been claiming that he no longer has the will to live. Sajiri then argues that she knows that Gabamaru did not lie about the fact that there has been an emptiness in his life. However, he did hide the fact that his wife is still his reason to live as he loves her with all his heart. She is still his attachment to life which is why all of the execution methods used on him have failed to yield any result. It turns out that Sajiri has accurately analyzed the whole situation as Gabamaru's wife has given him the hope and love that he never got to experience before. Despite his reputation, she still managed to see the human side of the shinobi. The acceptance she showed was enough to melt the heart of a cold-blooded assassin who decided to change his life. Gabamaru felt that he could no longer continue to kill to earn a living and eventually told this decision to the chief of Iwagakure and Yui's father, OSA. Unfortunately, OSA did not like the decision and asked Gabamaru to go on one last mission. This turned out to be the worst mistake of his life as he was cornered and then captured, after being betrayed by his own comrades. After taking cognizance of the whole situation, Yamada Asiman Sajiri finally reveals a letter of official pardon issued by the shogunate for Gabamaru. She reveals that there is a condition that he must fulfill to get it. Beyond the Ryukyu kingdom, far to the southwest, there is a mysterious land known as Shinenkyo that is brimming with fertility and happiness and no corresponding pain. People have even called it heaven and it has been said that the immortality granting elixir of life is waiting to be found there. Naturally, the shogunate was interested and wanted to get his hands on the elixir of life. He eventually sent a search party but only the dead bodies of the people returned. This only got worse as five more search parties faced a similar fate. Eventually, the shogunate decided that people on death row must be used for such a task, which is why Sajri like many others was looking for men who were skilled enough for the job. Sajiri reveals that whoever finds and returns with the elixir of life gets a pardon from the shogunate. However, she warns Gabamaru that he will be competing against dangerous criminals who will not think twice before taking his life. Despite being aware of the dangers, Gabamaru accepts the assignment as he desperately wants to reunite with his wife, Yui.